Hey Rap Bags, it's Jay. Today I'm going to show you how to get Max Cozy in Grounded. It's a new mechanic they've added in and it's got some amazing uses. And some pretty ripping guitar riffs. Here is the unlocks that you get when you get to certain levels. So it's really important if you want to unlock all the new cosmetic items and more build pieces. Not only that, you get some pretty decent buffs as well while you're at your base. So it's definitely worth investing in getting as much of the features that you need to get your Max Cozy up and running. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Leave a like if you find it useful. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And let's go. Everything you need to know about Max Cozy in the Super Duper update incoming for everyone soon. So every item that you place has got some sort of cozy rating from base pieces like walls and foundations to the more cosmetic stuff like the bug mounts as well as furniture. If you scroll through all the crafting menus, you can see on the top right, the cozy as well as the defense rating. So some items are gonna be much more cozy than others. A lot of the furniture and more build items are now locked behind the cozy levels. There are five levels max, and at various levels, you get benefits like not having to eat or drink as much, as well as regaining your health, plus of course, all the new unlocks. A bog standard base with kind of all the stuff you would expect to have, crafting bench, the spindle, and more like the grinder and stuff, eventually that should be enough to get you up to level one. With maybe just a couple of decorative pieces added in as well, like chests and chairs. And here you can see all the unlocks. So if you want to be able to craft and place the new fireplace hearth, the chimney and vent that comes with it, as well as the variants for like the clover roof and the half chimney, you're gonna to need to get to cozy level one. And the burr petition is hidden behind level one. You will not be able to craft these features until you get to level one coziness. At the moment, there's no progress chart showing if you've got to or close to level one. It only shows from here on out how close you're gonna to get to the next level. So if it, nothing's popping up, you just simply haven't placed enough of the building pieces around to get to level one. The way that Cozy works, it pretty much builds up as much coziness within a certain range. At the moment, it seems to be six foundations, give or take. And in terms of going up, it will be six wall pieces high. So that's quite a lot of space to build a nice, decent sized base to make sure you get the maximum cozy. And obviously, if you step out of range of your base, then you will leave some of them healing buffs, the food and water reduction buff behind. Unlike a lot of the other buffs in Grounded, it won't just simply last for another minute or two minutes. So of course, you can build your bases bigger, but just bear in mind, if you want the full max cozy all over the place or you want a certain level of it, you are going to have to make sure that each area has enough of the decorative items and the crafting items you need to hit it. But otherwise, a foundation base six across by six and six high, that's pretty much the sweet spot at the moment for getting max cozy. There are sometimes of periods where you go maybe six and a half, seven, but I would say just keep it safe and make it six by six. At level one of Cozy, you won't need to eat as much. You'll basically have your food not go down as quickly as normal. Level two gives you a similar buff to your water reduction, so you won't need to drink as much. You'll also unlock the fireplace chimney crow roof, ant candle and spider candle, clover awning, clover awning B, clover awning corner and the acorn shelf. And again, it's not too hard to get to this kind of level. You can see the stuff that we've got around us is most common with a medium playthrough where you've got maybe the ovens unlocked as well as some of the other good stuff as well, like being able to have your dew catcher and obviously a jerky rack. Some of these items really do give a lot more cozy than others, but there's far too many to go through in just one video. But I'm gonna give you some tips towards the end about which ones give you the most. Now you can at the moment spam lots of the same item and you will eventually get the better cozy levels. But think about how many resources go into doing something stupid like placing all of these weapon frames down. But yeah, you can definitely see the progress going up in the bottom right corner if you're close enough to the next level. Effectively, if you spam the one item, it doesn't give as much as mixing it up with others. Getting your cozy to level three unlocks the queer scale shelf, the trash can, the hot tub, the gun partition, the bunk bed, the crow awning, the crow awning B, and the crow awning corner. There's no reward for level three in terms of buffs. The next one will be level four. At this stage, you're gonna have to have quite a lot of decorative pieces and pretty much all the crafting options available in terms of progress, like the cookery, maybe even the ice box and some of the stuff that you've been unlocking like the hearth, make sure you put them down and you can see how much stuff I've got here to unlock level four. 
At level four, you'll get the picture frame, the pine cone roof corner, the pine cone roof, pine cone squared corner, pine cone interior corner, pine cone flat roof, triangle roof, peaked roof, and the peaked dome, as well as the brand new pine cone valley, meaning you can have your triangle little gaps at the top completed in now. Pine cone is the brand new roof resource type, and it's the only way you can unlock it by getting to cozy level four. And lastly, you get the pine cone shelf and the dry grass partition at level four also. And the healing buff you get will pretty much just replenish your health whenever you're in close range of your home with Cozy Level 4. So there's a bit of a visual glitch at the moment, or you might not actually see it, but they can get to level 5. And this was the mistake I made when I first talked about it. There is a level 5. It's just not showing the bar. So you pretty much have to place just everything you can find to really get to it. You are going to need pretty much every item. Again, you can use a mixture of different items. So different variants like the bed. We've got the normal bed. Then we've got the bunk beds, which are new. And then we've also got the petal beds. They will all give a good amount of coziness. If I were to go ahead and just spam nothing but a bed, just a single one or everywhere, then you do get a good amount of cozy for the first one, but every one you place after that is going to be a much more reduced amount. Now, some of the best ways to increase your coziness are by placing these statues. You can get these figurines placed all over the different laboratories in the backyard, and I've shown you guys a guide on how to or where to find them. And they also give you other benefits like a mutation that you can unlock to steal bug parts from bugs as you're fighting them. But these give a huge amount and some of the best coziness. Things like the hot tub also give a huge amount, as well as the hearth fire. And again, just stuff like that will always give you more. Base parts like walls and foundations probably give the least. And you will build up your coziness if you've got all sorts of different wall mounts. They don't include just one wall mount as just one. If you've got different bug heads on them and stuff, then they will all give you a nice little boost. So at coziness level five, you unlock the pinecone table, the pinecone armor, which is basically a massive chest. You've got the pupa leather couch, the toenail chandelier, the grand falafel clock, the petal bed, the short pinecone dresser, the tall pinecone dresser, and a couple of vases. You don't get any extra buff for hitting level five. It's just these recipes unlocked instead. So really making it worth doing this so that you don't have to eat and drink as much at home or if you just want to quickly reheal after an encounter or adventures, you can do that now. So like I said, I do want to give you more tips about which ones offer the most coziness, but remember some of these won't be unlocked till you get to level five. But in case you're going to be building another base, these are some of the items to look out for. Already spoken about the statues, the petal flower bed is one of the best ones also and the hot tub. So as soon as you unlock some of these, wherever level they are, make sure you go ahead, craft and place them to get a boost up to the next level. With just a couple of walls and then two items, I got to level one and then hanging the hand chandelier that you can see is a big boost as well, nearly 25, 30% of the way up to level two. And now you can see with all the statues on it and stuff, we're pretty much close to getting level three, but with only maybe eight different items. Again, some of this stuff is going to be expensive using your actual marble shards and plates and stuff to craft some of the statues or just other resources that you probably don't want to waste too much. So you have got to be a bit economical or maybe just don't think about it too much. Like it is a nice bonus and buff and definitely for builders out there that do it in survival and want to be able to get access to the new stuff, it's going to be important that you do this as soon as possible. But the buffs are really not something that you have to absolutely try and aim to get in the first few days of playing the game. It really is only the players that want more building pieces that I think it is going to be more important. But even with all the best pieces you can get, it's still a struggle getting up to level five. So if you've got other bases that you want to get this up and done, then yeah, you may want to think about adding more variety so that you get the best combination. So there we go, that is the complete guide to coziness. They may add more levels in the future, you never know, or they may change around some of the buffs. If they do, I'll keep you guys up to date, but this is how it is at the moment in the PTB. I expect it not really to change too much for the full release. As always, for the best guides, gameplay, and news about Grounded, make sure you subscribe and got notification bell dinged on, and I'll see you ratbags later.